Well, it appears that Mario Maker is finally coming to its end of life because the servers will be most likely shut down by the time you watch this video. Unless you watch it early, then it might be up for a day. So they shut down on April 8th, which is like a day from now, as of this recording. So to remember, we'll play some of my levels as well as a few other levels that were like very popular when the game first came out. Which I probably will actually play for the first time because, like I said, I've never really played levels in this game. Like, I've only played less than a thousand courses over my entire time playing this game. So, I'm a little late to the party, but I might as well do it while we still have the chance. And then maybe we can download some courses too, because even if the server shut down, you can still play courses that you've downloaded. So, I might download a few. You might even get some lore, dude. Uh, if you guys have only followed me from Mario Maker 2, I made some bangers in Mario Maker 1. Remember my 19 hour level and my, uh, other, my RNG level? Well, I made two April Fool levels in this game, which I will not play. I made videos on those, you watch them, but they're just as bad. See? Two April Fools. Whenever the thumbnail loads. Yeah, look at this thumbnail, isn't it great? I want to play through all my levels. And I've, I've actually also made some recap levels, or recap videos about the process of making some of these levels. Like P-Brick, I made a video, which you probably never even heard of, because it was made in like 2017, I made the video, 2019 or something. I'm actually surprised, because the clear rate is 0.02. It's not 0.01%. So, it's actually a higher clear rate. Well, I could delete it. I could do it. I'll play these three. Or is it these, these, these two? Kind of play shell sucking skies real quick. This one actually has a bit of some lore. It's only three seconds long, but that's because I was just trying to figure out how this game works. Notice how it's a new soup and not even Mario World. I don't even remember what, what I was trying to do here. Hold on. Don't do that. Oh, I remember now. What I intended for you to do is... Drop the shell and wall jump and then grab it. There's like a brief window where you can grab the shell without kicking it. Oh, I'm a gamer. That's what I wanted you to do. But you can cheese it by wall jumping. Also, this was before Pit of Panga. It's called Panga's Revenge because I was bad at titles. And I was like, this sounds cool, right? In 19 year old me's brain, because I was, uh. How old was I, 19? Or what was I? Freshman in college? No, I was a sophomore in college when all this happened. Anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do some lore, lore diving of, of me. For nostalgia for the first half, and the second half we'll uh, play some levels. Once I do this, right? 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 Dude, w what I intend to do is kind of insane, but... Yeah, you can just like wall jump over this. Dude, I can't even beat my first level. Oh yeah, you can also do mid-air, but this was before mid-airs... ...were discovered. Watch this mid-air, though. Oh, that was a mid-air. Wait, hold on, I'll get the hand here for this. There's a time for me to do mid-air. Alright, watch this mid-air. This is tech that you literally can't do in Mario Maker 2. Well, you can, but it's like... You to, it's like assisted. But look, this is unassisted mid-air. Ready? Oh, mid-air achieve. What is this? Oh, I remember. I wanted you to get a spring or do a shuttle like this. Was I smart and I made this a dispensing one? Uh, I guess not. Well, there's also meter springboard drops. This is before any tech was discovered. Oh my god, I'm bald. But yeah, this is this is baby me trying to play around with mechanics of game of the game I never really knew. So before mid airs, before anything, literally day one release, I was trying to play with things. But I knew about shell jumps. Shell jumps were already a thing. Like this thing right here that I can do. Ready? Hold on. See, this was actually a thing already because uh you know mario world rom hacks which i've already made multiple shell jump kind of levels in so i was glad to see shell jump still existed in mario maker which we'll see in skyzo meanwhile let me do this watch this mid -air. easy mid -air. it's also frame perfect so what i wanted you to do is this uh hold on yeah, see, that's what I wanted you to do. But apparently, I think new meter spring would drop too, which are also easier in this game. Also, no, no, no clear check time on your own levels. 
But now it's actually going to the first level I made. Also in the first save. Both of these levels are made in the first save of the game. And this. This is where it all began, man. This is where my journey to Mario Maker Kaizo levels started. Which is important because from this point forward, now that now there's just a million Kaizo levels that are better than what I made. I feel like I've inspired people to not make garbage hard levels, right? Anyone can make a hard level, but it's just, it's just a matter of it's going to be garbage. So there's my contribution to Mario Maker. And we're going to go through it real quick. As I first tried the solo that I made nine years ago and totally remember where I put all the hidden blocks, right? Totally remember. I really don't remember where all these hidden blocks are, so we're going to have a great time. Oh, I'm actually kind of gaming out of my mind, though. I wish I could see the speedruns of these. Because the speedrun, like, the world record's kind of nuts. I'm dead. Never mind. Actually, am I gonna first try this? No! Then we 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes to beat this. I forgot how long it took me. Well, it was just a wee lad. I tried to use things that were kind of unique to Mario Maker that I didn't really use in Mario World. Like these fire bars, putting spinies on tracks, spin jumping off enemies and getting a bounce, because when you spin jump off things, you don't get a bounce, you just fall down and kill it. Also, you only get one Yoshman in SMW. Oh, I think I jumped way too early. There is a lot of cheese in these first few levels, too, because of how the game mechanics were different. Like, you can duck and make your hitbox smaller. So there's a lot of cheese in some of the previous levels I made, because I didn't know that in this game. Like, when you duck with Yoshman, you can fit through a one-tile gap. You can't do that in Mario World. The original Mario World. So it was a big learning thing at first, which is like a new thing for most people because everyone didn't know how to make levels when this game first came out. So this was a nice tester for people's ability to both make levels and also play levels. Like this was considered hard when the game first came out. Many people took hours to beat this and now it's just, just like a cakewalk. It shows you how much things have changed in nine years. So you can usually cheese that and go underneath it or go through the spikes. What do I do here? Oh, watch this shell jump, dude. No, that's a coin block there! See, I've told you, I don't remember up with these. I was gonna watch you do a shell jump. To my knowledge, this was actually the first shell jump in Mario World. Or sorry, in Mario Maker. If you don't count the first level, because I don't really count that. But I did like ending levels with like one trick that is kind of hard. And shell jumps were kind of hard at the time. But, I mean, they're a little easier now, but... Alright, watch this. Watch and learn, team. There's another one another coin block, which I totally don't know where. First try. Just kidding. I am proud of how this lines up, though. That was, that was one of the things I was kind of proud about. Just like this shell jump that I will not mess up a second time. I'm dead. Alright, third time's a charm. My goodness. If you guys want some more, like, lore, you should go... Just look up Skies on YouTube and just watch people's first completions of this level and just look at their pop-offs. Like Carl. Carl had a good pop-off. Mitch. I don't know if who has a recording of it. You guys know Hungrybox played this level? <laughs> I think he beat it. There's a bunch of other people that played this and beat it, but I can't think off the top of my head. Yeet! There we go. We did it. Alright, it only took 7 minutes. Imagine it took me more time to beat this than it did when I first made this. But there you go, that's just a nice example of how much the level design has also changed over 9 years. This is very, this was like known as revolutionary at the time. It's so simple. It, well, there's not a lot going on in it, right? It's just very simple. Nowadays, there's just so much complex guys with stuff. Not, not necessarily bad, but it's just like how much things have changed. Oh yeah, this is also Panga's Revenge, because this is before I cooked Pit of Panga. It's like, hey, it's alliteration. You know what alliteration means? Usually good level, unless they all suck. So let me do Ultra Star real quick, and then I'll, maybe I'll play Pea Break for five minutes. I'm not going to beat Pea Break again, all right? I think I've beaten it twice before. I already made a video on Pea Break. You can go watch that. But we can play Ultra Star. I like this level a lot. This was before on-off switches became a thing, so I had to do my best by using Pals and Munchers, and I think the product, the... End result was pretty good. I forgot to start the timer, that's okay, because I'm going to one-shot it. I also don't remember where I put coin blocks here. There's one. Found it. This is back when coin blocks were funny. They still can be, but... Now they're a lot less... ...funny, because they're more expected now. 
The trolls were also very new to everybody. But now there's more complex trolls than funnier trolls. But a good Kaizo block's always funny. Same with the fish. Momentum! But yeah, on-off sort of thing. So you use pals and munchers. Which is interesting because on-off switches and on-off blocks, they were... Well, on-off blocks weren't in the original SMW, but they were in ROM X before. So I wonder if like Nintendo got on-off block idea in Mario Maker 2 from ROM X. Anyways, what was I cooking here? A fish. Where are the coin blocks? Where are they? What is this? Oh, I think I just go to the platform. I briefly remember making these littles. This was before... Well, I was a college student, so I was poor. So I didn't have a TV. So the, the gamepad was clutch because the gamepad was my TV. So I record or I uh, made everything on the gamepad and used it as my monitor, which was nice. I also didn't have like a good setup, so I would make all my levels on my bed. I would come back from class because I, I was well, yeah a sophomore. Come back from class, and, you know, lay in my bed, play my gamepad, and then stream. This was before the, the Cam and Mike era. I was a mysterious figure to the internet. Which wasn't necessarily true, because I used to, I mean, before my maker, I had face Cam and Mike. It's just, when I was in college, I had normie roommates. And streaming was still kind of new at the time. And I didn't feel like disturbing them by talking to myself for four hours. So I would just sit in silence. And people would just watch me place blocks and be like, Oh, why did he place a block there? What is he doing? What is this man cooking? Who is this man? This guy was cooking. They never even knew. They didn't know I streamed or anything. Actually, I think one of them knew. But accidentally, they found like a video of P break. And they were like, hey, this looks cool. And I was like, yeah, I made that. He's like, what, you did? Yeah, I did that. That was me. Am I gonna make this? Oh! They were chill guys though. They were they were my teammates on the track and field team when I ran at UConn. I think the reason why I was able to have all this time to make levels is because I didn't make the team the second year. I think if I made the team by being like fast enough, I probably wouldn't have had made all these levels. So kind of a blessing that I was too slow. Otherwise, P break may not have existed. Like actually. Oh my god. Go! Gaming. Man, I really like that level. That was very fun to make. I think it only took me also around 20, 20, 30 minutes. Actually, let me do f exactly five attempts of new break. You want to see how awful this is? I don't even remember how this starts. Here's one. Yeah, so you can start in midair, isn't it great? And this this is a uh, yeah. This took me 39 hours, which I'm not doing. I can't even grab the shell. Let me grab the shell, and then I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Grabbed it. I will also play P break for exactly five minutes. And then we'll move on to probably maybe other levels in mine. This is just a quick lore thing. Oh man, playing this now, it, 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 does, it does suck. How did I line this all up? All up for this level, I didn't care about like things lining up and stuff. I just care about making one of the hardest levels. Oh. Dude, what was I on? I made this. Oh, I'm gaming! This had cheese, but I don't remember what it was. What was this even? What cheese was this? I don't even remember my own level, dude. Remember I came, I, I I wanted the idea of do something really cool, right? That's the whole point of this level. Really difficult, but cool. And I was like, what if I do a four shell jump? I guess three. Wait, you put one on. I forgot what I intended you to do, but like... Which I think I remember what you wanted to do. Do I? No, I don't remember what you're supposed to do. But there's there's cheese. What the heck did I... What, what, what is I on? Yeah, that was the greatest attempt of my life, dude. It's fantastic. Alright, that's my five minutes. I can't believe I got here in five minutes. Anyways, this is a revolutionary. Anyways, enough about me. That was just a bit of some lore. It was this nostalgic feeling. Back when this game was hot. 
and stuff. Let's go to some courses that I probably should have played, but I never did because I never played courses. What's in new arrivals? No data. Makes sense. What's in bookmarks? Oh, wait, it's going to give me an error, right? Because the bookmark site's down. Oh, yeah. Well, there, there's an error. Man, I should play Mech Mecha Bowzilla real quick. I don't actually have a clear on it. How the heck do I find Mecha Bowzilla? Oh, wait. Technology. Is it is it uh, in Makers? Does Kiavik have a lot of stars? Hey, wait a minute. Wait, I'm... Oh, this is weekly. Wait, how am I 28th star weekly? What? People are still starring my bad levels? Some of these names bring back memories, kind of. I'm 57th all time? Wait, I'm, I kind of peaked. Dang, dude, I only need Kaiser levels too, which, like, not a lot of people would play. 57, that's insane. Hey, there's Kiavik. Did I ever do, like, one year Marmaker and two year Marmaker and three year Marmaker? I don't know if I ever did. Anyways, this is probably the most, one of the most iconic levels in Marmaker. I don't have a clear on it. See if you go to clear and then you try to find my name. No, I'm not here. Hey, there's the ball, man. So if you haven't seen it, you're about to see one of the... One, one of the coolest levels in Mario Maker 1. In my opinion. It was very, very creative. Didn't really see a lot of boss... Bosses like this. I, I, I popularized like mirrors and shell jumps and, and, and stuff. And this this guy, he made he made a boss that was really cool. Look at this guy. It's Mecha Bowzilla. Yo, give me the thumbnail shot. Now, now in Mario Maker 2, you, you see a lot of creative bosses. Mario Maker 1 is like probably not a ton. And this guy, this guy, Kiara came out of nowhere, is like, hold my Wii U gamepad and let me show you what this game can really be, what you can do in this game. Use the power of good. Alright, no, no little Timmies and pick a doors, which still exists in Mario Maker 1. But Mario Maker, this is, what, this is what I envisioned when I first bought the game. Cool stuff. And not dying to a survival section! Also, this all wait, like, this all had checkpoints, right? Do you know Mario Maker didn't have checkpoints before? They added that in a future update. And not only that, but uh... I almost put a checkpoint in... One of my levels. Or like, you know, one of my hard levels, because it was too hard. And I was like, dude, I might just have to put a checkpoint. But then, I didn't realize he also had to beat the level from start to finish with the, the checkpoint, so it wouldn't matter for me anyways. But that's how hard the level was. I think it was for you, Brick. I was, I was like, yo, I'm gonna put- if I can't beat this, I'm just gonna put a checkpoint. Which I wanted. Also, look at these pipes. Can we have nude pipes? Mario Maker 2, now we have... Overlapping pipes. And there, there's a checkpoint. So I guess this level is- I didn't realize this level was after checkpoints came out. If I remember correctly, it was two months after the game came out when they had the checkpoints. Someone fact check me on that. Or don't, I don't know. Because I'm just right. So we took out BGR's legs. Or Mecha Bazula's legs. Now we're gonna take out... Ow. Whatever the next part is, I don't know. What the heck? Nintendo ripped it off, did it? I think I heard about that, maybe? So it's still hard, I didn't realize, like... I mean, it was 1.5% clear rate. It's still a hard level. It's nice being able to play some of the iconic levels, though. Uh, given, given it's nine years late, right? But at least I'm finally doing it. Alright, it's not too late. We still have, a, still have a day. Well, by the time you watch this, you don't have any more time. Because the servers are done. The heart, we've taken it. Oh yeah, you can enter pipes with a... The top is blocked off. Dude, this dog is aggressive. I'm gonna die. Oh! Actually, I just remember the level I want to play. It was one of the first other Kaiser levels. I Made mean, by Dan Salvato. You some some of you probably heard of it, but it, P is for pain. I actually think I think I did beat that. How long did it take me? How long did that take me? I don't know, but I want to play it. 
That one's pretty iconic as well. I remember seeing that. I don't remember if it was like before I made Skyzer or after. That's another early Kaizo level. That was pretty famous as well. Shoot. No! I love hitting myself in the face with a shell. Oh yeah, the Yata guy. The Yata. Maybe we should actually, I gotta find that video. You can link it. Back in the Yata days when people would say Yata when they beat really hard levels. It came from Pea Break. More lore. But no one says Yata anymore. Now we just go, Ugh! Or we don't pop off. It's one of the two. This part's harder than it looks. You gotta like hold it. Yeah, there we go. That, that's one of the most iconic levels. Imo. I knew about this level. I just never played it. So like I said, I just didn't play levels. But now we have a clear on it. We've officially done it. I can like it too. Everyone gets a star. No booze. Shoot, what was I gonna play? I totally just blinked. Oh yeah, Peace for Pain. How am I gonna find that? I look up Dan Salvato, because he has a YouTube video. Shouts to having the level code in your name, or in your video. I think I have clear- Oh no, I was trying to hit the search and now I'm getting an error. The Mario Maker experience already sucks. Oh, this came out a month after the game came out, I didn't realize. October 2015. The P switches are yellow. I forgot they were yellow and not blue. Wow. Look, King Boo has a world record. Even in Mario Maker 1, King Boo was just a monster. Oh yeah, I have a clear on it. Well, we'll play it again. It's been many years, so I don't remember what's in this hole. Is this a lot of Game Grown Scott, like, they tried to beat- I think they tried to beat P Break too, but they never failed there. They never had a chance. Oh, what the heck? They're not yellow anymore. Oh, and they tended to run off like that, I see. Do you guys know P-Switches? They're a one-frame jump, totally not more than one, so all these are- I'm doing frame-perfect jumps, because I'm just that good at the game. Yep. I push jump. I also am curious what this spoon looks like. Kingo probably has a video of it, but it's probably nuts. It's another iconic- this actually isn't that bad. Notice how Dan Salata always uses the formula. Imagine making, or imagine dance about I mean, Doki 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 Oh, that's actually tough. It's all harder than Skyzo, actually. I mean, it's all is hard. Shoot. Shoot. Shoot! Haha! -ha. Now what? There's more. No, I went through the P switch, man. This is gonna take me longer than Skyzo. And I think this should. Eh, is this easier than Skyzo? Action. Whoa, Mario, what the heck was that, my guy? What is this, Mario? Where's... How are you sending it that far to the right? My guy's got the hardest set ever. Now it's Todd Ed. Todd would be nice and gentle. Line up perfectly. I want them to add Rosalina as a playable character in Mario Maker 3. There we go. I could have kept going. What I want from Wonder, if they bring it over to Mario 3. The weed flower. Can we just put talking flowers? Make them, like, skew comments at you. It's the top. We'll take the bottom today. Wow, it took me 15 minutes. This is a tough level. But yeah, this is another pretty uh, infamous level back in the day. Made by Dan Salato, the guy who made Doki Doki Literature Club and a bunch of other things. Apparently, I never started. So there's your star. Before we begin, 
What do you want thing though? Look at this jump right here. Ready? Look at this, dude. Look at all this room for activities. Can't do this in Mario Maker 1. Or 2. Look at all this room you have to land. Look at that. Insane. So much room. You still can't do it, but that's what they changed in Mario Maker 2. You move one inch. No, not even an inch. You move one pixel to the left or right and you're dead. Well, I think vertically they're a little more annoying than, than Mario Maker 2. Apparently this is iconic. I mean, just because it's in the the global top star ranking, like this is this is the all time. Well, even if I go to like all, not necessarily like iconic, but I think Mission Impossible is pretty iconic, so we'll play it wherever it is. Here it is, number ten all time, and I don't think I played it. Yeah, there's no clear flag next to it. It has how many plays? Ten million plays. Oh my God, Mario Maker One kind of was a wow. Ten million plays. That's insane. All right, we're in new territory. Never, I've never seen this, actually. Ooh, joystick moment. Look at this. Actually, have I played this? Wait a minute, no. I don't think I have played this. Wait, this is kind of sick. Hold on, I'm a box. Look at me. That's me. <laughs> this is actually kind of sick. That's really funny. I like this. It's a cool idea. I want them to bring these back in Mario Maker 3. Cool costumes and stuff. That would be cool. Alright, what are we now? Are we a Goomba? Oh, we did play as a Goomba in Mario Maker 2, so... I'm a little shorter than you guys, so hopefully they don't notice. I'm also slightly... like, red. Meow meow. You could play as a cat, too. Whoa. Oh my god, I didn't realize it also had the sound effect. Is this regular SMW or regular whatever? What is this? That's kind of cool. If I don't go back in. Wow, they gave you a lot of time. I like it. They give you a substantial amount of time. Okay, let me get in. We got the B and the F sharp action. Dude, can we lose 100, 150 costumes? It's kind of insane. Why would I take damage? Let me just see real quick. Oh, I thought the game would pause. Okay, I want a different costume. What else do we want to be? I guess it doesn't mean the game, right? What, what is this game from? I don't, I don't know this one. Oh, music speeding up. Paper jam? Oh. Oh, shoot. This beat kind of goes hard. Wait a minute. Yeah, this one's pretty, pretty good. We need a Lanky Mario. I do know about Lanky Mario. You like jump higher. Because you're so lanky. Is your hitbox wider in these costumes? Oh, they're nice enough to give you the top, too. Oh, shoot. There's different end. Level bangers. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I don't know about that. I just didn't know about that one. Yeah, we'll start. I'll I'll I'll, I'll download it too. Cause if you download a course, you, you keep it forever. So we gotta we gotta get some for the Hall of Fame or just like things that are just make me remember about the game and stuff. What do I even have downloaded? This so was overhyped. I'm gonna download it. I think it was pretty cool. I also have a lot of space to download it, so why not? What do I have in my downloads? There's just a lot of my levels, like backups. There's- I'll put it right next to the herbs. I- I want to play three more levels. The maker just above- wait, which one? This one? 
Death to Sp Oh, I remember Death to Spies. Oh, this one. This is really popular. Oh, I guess it's eight. Oh, what else do we have? I gotta pick out my three before I continue. We can do that one. Oh, I need a, is there a, is there a good lanky one? Oh, here's a lanky one. Is this good? <laughs> lanky panky. Here, let's do a, we'll do it. We'll do the other, this suggestion right here. Where is it? There's a lot of good to choose from, but this one apparently is a, a good one. Leaf and Let Die Junior. I do like the, the pixel art though. It's kind of cool. You can see the thumbnail like off the bat. I guess that's why making thumbnails are more or, or making pixel art's more enticing because you just see it. So uh, we'll try this one out. No, dis oh, you can't read descriptions. There is no description, so. Oh, I get it. You preserve the, uh, the peace speed here. I actually made a, a SMB3 level like this. Why are... Dude, the tracks, man. The track colors go hard in Mario Maker 1. It's like blue and black. You can't tell me this track color doesn't go hard. It's insane. Oh, what? Wait, why am I doing a loop? Oh, I want to hit that so I can... Okay, I see. Oh, I understand now. Okay, there's only one bounce. Hey, buddy. Whoops. Do you imagine you have customizable track colors? You don't need to, but just imagine just for fun these. I like the dark theme track colors. I think in like Castle, they make it like black. Big fan of dark theme. Doesn't hurt my eyes as much. What's this? Let's fly and find out. Uh oh, I put my foot on the ground. Oh yeah, this is before clear cons existed. Mario Maker 1 did not have clear conditions, so you had to find creative ways around it. Which sometimes I still do Mario Maker 2 because the clear condition window it just is the most annoying thing ever. Jay, what am I doing here? Am I being a dummy? I feel like this should not be this difficult. What's this? What is this? Oh, is this what I have to do? Just get the key? And then get the shelmet? Oh, wait, there's there, there's a lot more than I expected. Hold on. There's a lot to this law that I did not expect. So let's gotta go. See, look at the dark mode tracks. Isn't that cool? I like the aesthetics here. What? Okay, now we're... I did not realize you can bounce off that. So we do all this for a shelmet, which now lets us hit the bonds. So now we go back up here. So I was like, what am I doing? All right, it makes sense now. What the heck? Here. This is a chonker low. Wait a minute. Oh, checkpoint. Oh, actually, I want to. I want to find that little that made a uh, the checkpoint system, the red coin extravaganza. Because that's also kind of influential to this game. What am I doing here? Oh, I'm going underneath. Oh, I had to bounce on that right. This is tough. That's tough. Wow. Oh, this is the this is it. That's creative. All right, so now I got this cannon. It almost feels like I'm doing a. Uh, Uh, X your Marmaker level. I think this is kind of. Oh, I was gonna say it's lenient, and then I do that. 
Alright, that should work. Nice. Yo, big boot guy still exists. This guy's a big boot guy. Uh, let's just go back. Gonna shell it. Okay, so we need, uh, what do we need for this part? I do not want to go back in that pipe. Oh, the, there's a bonds up there now. So, goodbye, big boot guy. I'm gonna bop you up, too. This all is pretty, pretty... complicated. Well, it's cool once you figure it out. Okay, so now we have another big boot guy. Dang, this is creative. Alright, we don't have a big boot guy anymore. Oh, we have to... Did that stay there? Oh, we just have to hit it. I didn't need to hit those, right? Man, this all hurts my brain. Finally. Alright, what's this do? So I think, I think, uh, let's the boss get across now. I go here next? Oh no. This is like a puzzle level. Wow, it's tough. This all is tough. So now I can go across. This is like a 10 minute level, just by itself. This is not a bad thing, but it's like, dang. I didn't expect to have to think. What? You can hit it through this cloud block? You know that Mario Maker 2? Alright, now we got the bonds here. What are you gonna do? How do you get up top? Oh, I need a pow. Oh, okay, so now now we're now we're good to go, I think. Oh wait, I kinda need a tanuki, huh? Hey, just don't mess up. Don't mess up. Uh, it looks like the end of the level. That was creative. Yeah, this is a really good level as well. There's a pixel art. No, it actually literally took me 10 minutes. Yeah, bouncing off, it resets the flave. Yeah. There's your like. Alright, two more levels. What should we play? Preferably normal or easier. What is this? You chan and bullet bell beat X. What is this? This is a rare viewer level, I guess. I don't know what this is, but maybe it's iconic? What? Okay, this is iconic for me. Alright, now it's iconic. What is this, dude? I'm missing all these costumes. Oh, I lost it. Wait, it's back? <laughs> you know what? I'm down. Alright. We're here to explore the final stuff of Mario Maker. This is you. Is this Yu Chan? I, I'm not Yu Chan anymore. I'm dead. Here, have a star. Sure. All right, they have to add this in Mario Maker Three. I would play this. Can they add your forger? Wouldn't see. Wouldn't that be great? You add your waifu to the game. Uh, so I just like hold right. Okay. I'm about to download this course, man. This is really interesting. No more iconic, we we just doing cute levels. Whoops. If you point up, you get a salute? What? I'm pushing up, look. Wait. Great. Hey, this is a soft lock. Oh, wait, no, it's a checkpoint. Whatever. Oh my god, dude. 
She's saying jump and domo. Domo. Oh no, my domo. We need back. I want it back. Does ducking do anything? I guess he could teabag you. Hey yo. This is iconic, 100%. Increase slow. I'm gonna download this. Unless there's an even better one of this. No, my. Give me back my jump poop. Thanks. This beat goes hard, man. Uh, please add this in Mario Maker 3. Give me something, man. Yo, the clap box, D colon. Oh, what? Wait, where am I going? No, give me it back. It's back. <laughs> this is so stupid, but I love it. Jampu. I don't know about the jump boost. She can break blocks too. Mario can't do that by himself. <laughs> I'm downloading this. She sings the- oh my god. Man, I missed all these costs. How do you even get this one? What do you have to do to get this one? I missed out, man. That was a special event. Dang. Well, I'm downloading it. No more Hunter Man to give it to you? Oh, well. We'll, we'll never have it. But we have this level now. Saved forever. Alright, I have one more level. I can only play one more. I can probably just download a bunch, but I can only play one more. For 420. What, what should be the final level? Lanky? You're right. I'm gonna do a Lanky level. Any, any iconic Lanky levels? I do want some Link. Didn't I see a Lanky one here somewhere? Do the lanky panky. Easiest. We'll do this one. We get to show you about the lanky Mario before we shut off the service forever. Let's do this one. Dude, look at this guy. Look at him. He's lanky. What is this? I feel like some of these are just to show off how many costumes you have. And honestly, I would do the same. Wait, I want to be, I want to, yeah. Wait, this is a... Oh, it's just a different one each time, right? Or is there like a set a number of different ones? Pikachu! Dang, these guys got their collection. But do they have the enemy girl? Anyways, I think we have to be lanky now. Oh, we have to dodge these. I understand. These are not what we want. But how do I get this? Give me back. I want to be Jampu again. Maybe they don't have it. Let's be Bowser. Alright. Now the gameplay begins. Oh, no, 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 no. I pushed jump. Boy, actually, this is kind of sick. We... I hope they bring back Linky and, uh, Mario Maker 3. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, look at how much you height you get. What is that, like, seven blocks? Probably more. Oh, that's like eight blocks of height. What the fuck? You can clear seven blocks. That's better than the SME2 Mushroom. I think. That looks so funny. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a checkpoint. Oh, we get it. We did it. We got the checkpoint. I should do the fly mini game. You're right. I should do that once. Goodbye, Linky. Hey, look, it's pick a door in Mario Maker 1, right? Totally not a red coin extravaganza. No, that's the final one. Red coin 
Mario Shavaganda still exists in Mario Maker 1. Or I guess they originated from Mario Maker 1, right? Mario Maker did have its pros though, Mario Maker 2. So much good stuff. Is there, Ros is there a Rosalina costume in this, actually? They won't know. I want to be able to play as Rosalina. There is? Oh, shoot! They better bring that back in Mario Maker 3. Rosalina is the life in the Mario Maker world, I think. I think. Is there any better ones? Man, the tracks and the tracks are like different in each theme, and I kind of like that. I want them to like, do that too, because they're all the same in Mario Maker 2. And I kind of want to grab these just to see what I turn into. What if I turn into Rosalina? I don't know if they have them. You never know. Maybe they have them. Dude, Lanky Mario's got a donkey, man. Look at this. Look at this guy. He's got the dumper. I did this one already. Well, time to find out uh, what we turned into. Yo, Mr. Game & Watch? I don't know where half of these are from. I feel so un BJR. I feel so uncultured. Oh, that's Falco. That ain't Falco, but it is. That's Ness. I'm dead. Dude, th this the color is sick. It's blue and black. Lanky Mario is. Oh man, Lanky Mario is sick though. I'm a box. That the racist one up top? Oh, I do. Wait, free bonus. Never mind. All right, now I think we're good to win, right? So many one-ups. Can I get a bonus guy at the end? Oh, the Orby returns. More importantly, this right here. That's kind of cursed. He was grabbing an invisible pole. More importantly, this is uh, our 420th cleared level. So, I unfortunately cannot play anymore. But I can download more if I want to. Which I might do off stream. There, there, there's, just, there's a million good levels in this game. I can't cover them all. There's also a million bad levels too. Which I can't download all of them. But at least we got to see some cool stuff. Like the Linky Mario, all the costumes. It was a nice trip down memory lane for a bit. And here's our final stats. Look at this. 420 courses cleared and we have a 69 on the bomb. I got my 69 420 achievement. And Mario Maker 1. We had done it. I also didn't realize I had so many stars. 124,000. Dang. 57th all time. This guy is kind of a... He's kind of gaming. I'll probably go back and download some more at some point. What do I even have right now? We can check real quick. Someone may be able to show off the costumes. Maybe I'll download it. Yeah, I'll download that one. Should I just do it right now before I forget? If I play it in course spot, it doesn't count to a clear, so it'll work. Oh my god, dude. There's 153. Right next to Yu Chen. I'm only gonna play it to find Yu Chen. Is that the person's name in the costume? I don't even know where they're from. UI Saki, I feel uncultured. Let's do it. We're gonna find him. Oh my god, we're just gonna go through all of them. There's Peach. Luigi. Bowser. I played as Goomba in Super Mario Maker. I play as books. Dude, you do some funny things with the springboard one. It's Toad. BJR. How many do I know? That looks supposed to be like a Metal Mario. Like both of these. And he plays Mario Maker. Yoshman. Oh, Shy Guy. Wario. Hey, there she is. Mario Maker's dead, guys. Koopa. Dr. Mario. Super Mario Kart. Waluigi. Another Yoshman. Is this Melee Yoshman? Oh, there's different colors. 
Why does it have such a big head? Oh! Donkey Kong. Diddy Kong! Kirby. Is that King Diddy? Metal Knight. Is that Icarus? I don't know who that is. Oh, I definitely don't know who this is. I don't know any of these people. Okay. Oh, this is Pit. Yeah, I don't know anything. Mega Man. Samus. Dude, can we get Zero Suit? Actually, I changed my mind. I think Zero Suit Samus over Rosalina. Oh, shoot. Speak of the devil. Is this Rob? I'm uncultured. Alright, I don't play video games. I don't know any of these people. Oh, I definitely don't know who these are. That's Martha. What is that? That was my first guess. Pikachu. Charizard. Jigglypuff. Where's Hungrybox? Let me just rest on you. Rest on your nuts. Me too. I forget the name of that Pokemon. Hey, that's Pikmin, right? Uh, that, this is definitely Pikmin. Hey, it's Link. Front facing Link. Oh, you can hold the. Oh, it's kind of cute. I probably missed like some some cool stuff. Oh, this, I, I would not know this was Zelda. Or is that Zelda? I don't know. I don't. I've never played Zelda. In like Sheath or whatever. Ganondorf. Oh yeah, they all have like different things. Well, I didn't do. Them. What is this? Is this not the same thing? Do they all have like something cool when you push up? Dang, dude, I'm missing out. Oh, well. Interesting. Ness and uh, if Lucas, is that his name? Is this Splatoon? I didn't know this was in here. Yeah, Tone's a big Splatoon guy. Oh, this is definitely Splatoon. Oh, you're a little inky dingy. What the heck is this? We fit dreamer. <laughs> oh. I don't know what this is either. Is this Animal Crossing? Is this Tom Nook? Is this all Animal Crossing? I don't know Animal Crossing. I don't know about like Isabella and Stitches and Tom Nook. Interesting. You guys know so much. I'm gonna run out of time, don't worry. Where's the waifu? That's all I cared for. Oh, that's Isabella. Alright. How much Animal Crossing is there? What the heck? There's so much. Oh, no more Animal Crossing. Falcon. Oh, wait, we have Mr. Game Watch. Is this, is this a different one? Hey, it's Sanic. Wait, is this the duck hunt thing from... It has to be. Waka 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 waka. Don't know what this is. This is probably like Mike Tyson or something. Punch out. Probably not. Hey. 
Hi ya! Little Mac, don't know about that. What about Mac and Cheese? Did we already do Falco? This is different. Well, I just made this a, an entire YouTube video. No, I'm not going to. Maybe I will, I don't know. This Mahjong? You can play as a Mahjong tile? <laughs> Some of you are just so random. Don't know what this is. There's three of you? I don't know who this guy is, but he seems like a G. I don't like how he's cheesing. It's from Triforce Heroes. I've only played like five games in my life, so I'm not gonna know any of these. Oh, Peach! Wait, can we put Peach in Mario Maker 3? What the heck is this? Oh, no, this guy. Oh, look, it's not janky. I can actually run on the floor and not hippity hoppy all over someone's property. Oh, I never push up on these guys. Pretty good. I like this one. What is this? I don't know this either. Dude, I wish I could appreciate some of these, like, poses. This guy is. Yo, I only know this from Smash. Where's this from? I like the eyebrows. Oh, it's Mr. Saturn. Oh, that's who it was. Never played Earthbound either. Isn't that Matt Pat's favorite game? I think I know where this is from. Is it from like an NES game? I'm gonna time out, but that's okay. Hey, it's Birdo. I'm a bird. Wait, is this the same bird in Mario Maker 2? This is Yamamura? I'm gonna time out. Start over. It is? Oh, shoot, dude. They, they alert, alluded to it. Oh, this is this. Wait, this is taking me to the second hole. Oh, they know about the shortcuts. Is there some lore to it? Where am I? I don't know where I am. Did I get here yet? Oh, Bulbasaur. Is this the guy from Luigi's Mansion? Is it Professor E. Gad? Is that who that is? Or am I thinking someone else? Oh, it is E. Gad. Daisy! Ah, I, knew, I know some stuff. Charmander! Is that Squirtle? Who this? That is Shitose! It's like one of the... Wait, that's from, uh... Oh my god, it was like... I actually watched that. I was like, it looks like her, but I can't tell if it's actually her. Who's this? Barbara the Pet? Are we in a waifu territory now? You're not a waifu. Shitose is me the waifu. I like the short, blue-haired girl. Dude, you can play as Tata. You could play as Tata in Mario Maker 1, huh? Aw, oh, shoot. We already used her. Hold on. How many from the right? She, she's last. Unless there's a better one. Alright, I gotta remember. I'm gonna forget. It's like after the cloud blocks. Well, you'll be last. 
I don't know where this is from either. Woof. What's this? Hey, it's Nabbit. This guy. Who the heck is this guy? Is this from Zelda? I don't know any Zelda. We are in territory where I, I don't know who any of these people are. Oh, this is Baby Mario. This is me when they start down their servers. I want this to be Anya, but it's not Anya. Yo, this guy's a vibin'. What the heck is... What are these guys, man? What? <laughs> what is this, dude? Oh my god, how did- I'm surprised they let this in, dude. This is- this is a kid's game. Oh, shoot. They got three of the waifus. Oh, I didn't crouch with them. I saw something- Hold on, we gotta go back to that guy, too. Is he ice climbers? Oh, it's Hello Kitty! Dude, wait, these are the cute ones. Why are you a... what? Please tell me this isn't from something and it's decided to make... Hey, it's the dog! Sh Sean the sheep? Oh. What the... what on earth? Is this the DS Brain Age guy? Or is it actually like a person based off someone? What's this? Is this Splatoon as well? This is also Splatoon. That's an actual person. Is this RNG simulator? I need to- I need Jampu and the other person again. Hold on. Where, where was Jampu? It was like right after the cloud looks. It was like, I think one of these two. I'm, I'm gonna hit this one just to... Okay. Where's the other guy? What the- oh, that's what was jumping. What is- what? This is so stupid. I love it though. All right, well, now we gotta finish off with a Jampu. Is it this one? All right, we're gonna finish off with the waifu. No, 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 no. Okay, we gotta finish. She Naruto runs. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we did it. This should not count as a clear, because I didn't core spot. If it counts as a clear, everything is ruined. We're gonna double check. Wait, I can point... Look, I'm, I'm pooping coins on the top right. I'm just tapping. Oh, never mind. It does that. They ignore me. I typed at the same time and pooped coins. Everything's fine. Anyways, I think this is where we leave Mario Maker. It was, it was nice. All the servers were up. I made a lot of uh, memories throughout the years from streaming, making levels, playing levels. Wish I played more levels, but rest in peace. We did as much as we could. I'll probably go and download more levels uh, later at some point. And we still have another day, right? Download some goodies. Oh, I was going to check what I even have before we stop completely. What do I even have right now? But yeah, Mario Maker didn't even last 10 years. Unfortunate. At least we have Mario Maker 2. Hopefully they keep Mario Maker 2 servers up. If not, hopefully Mario Maker 3 comes out, you know, and we still have more things to do and stuff, but at least you can download levels and play them forever. So these are all my levels. Mr. Carl's Wild Ride. Remember this one. 
Remember when me, Mitch, and Carl used to, uh, we all tried to make, this was after pee break, we all tried to make, like, the hardest level ever, and then Carl came up with this. I don't know if I ever beat it. That one's really hard. What's this? Save the Yoshis. Oh, this is all inspired an in AGQ level. I think this one's a very basic one, though. I guess I, guess I downloaded it. Uh, what else do I have? <laughs> this is when I was trying to find a little out of the dev route. Because you get down levels. AGQ levels. Bowzilla, Tricky Mario. Shell Space was also known to be one of the hardest levels ever at the time. Same with uh, Air Space. Um, I didn't really download too many levels, though. Or my levels. Actually, there's one thing I want to upload. Maybe to YouTube. But a very long time ago, me, Grand Pooh Bear, and Mitch Flower Power, we used to race levels. We were in a Skype call together, and we would just race hard levels. They were mainly my levels, but then we added, like, Mitch's level, and I think we added a Pooh level. We did it, like, once a week or something for a few weeks. I, might, I, I, I saved one of the VODs, but the frames dropped a lot, but I kind of want to upload the YouTube. Might as well. That was a nice taste of more maker. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of levels downloaded. I will definitely download more levels at some point, but at least we have the herbs. Someone did beat herbs, legit. So, herbs, even though his task has officially been cleared. So, shouts to uh, Sanix. I think they beat it. They did before the service closed. So, they officially, legitimately cleared it. There, had, there has been a legitimate clear, so shouts to them. But yeah, that, that's all I have for Mario Maker. You will be missed. And now my Wii U can continue sitting in the bottom of a drawer, because literally, this was the only reason I got a Wii U. I have, like, no games. Like, actually zero games, except 3D World, because it literally came with my Wii U. But other than that, I have zero games on this, and it's great. Zero seven Mario Maker, you'll live on forever, forever through YouTube videos, and I guess offline downloaded courses. Zero seven Mario Maker, you'll be missed.